here today with Dr. Garth Nicholson, President and Chief Scientific Officer at the Institute for Molecular Medicine in California. Dr. Nicholson, great to be with you today. It's a pleasure to be with you. Let's talk about hydrogen and the health benefits thereof. So first off, what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element found in the universe. It is present uh, on Earth as a biatomic form, H2, and it's present in a number of different environments here on Earth. So uh, I understand there's different forms of hydrogen. Well, uh, primarily hydrogen is present uh, as this bimolecular molecule. Uh, it uh, is associated with a number of different environments. So it can be found, for example, in petroleum deposits. It can be found as a free hydrogen gas. Uh, and it can be found complexed uh, in a number of different environments. For example, hydrogen dissolved in water. So what is hydrogen? It's the most abundant element in the universe. It's also the simplest element. It contains one proton and one electron. And that's why we like to show it in a very simplified format. It's a colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic gas found in nature, as I mentioned, as H2. And you find H2 naturally. It's naturally in the soil. It's naturally in small amounts in the water. It's naturally, there's a very minute amount in the air that we breathe. But you can find higher amounts, uh, for example, in oil wells or in deposits at the bottom of the sea uh, that have trapped hydrogen. So it, it is uh, available on uh, our Earth as H2. Uh, so we know it as H2. Turns out it's a powerful antioxidant, but not too powerful. And this was one of the principal findings that was uh, made in Japan by Professor Ota. He did an amazing study where he found that not only was hydrogen an antioxidant, that is, it was able to neutralize oxidative capacity in a cell, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment, but it was not too powerful because there's some very natural oxidants in our cells which are very important for signaling in the cell and for regulation of gene expression, so regulating our genes and so on. So it's important if we use an antioxidant that it's not too powerful. So it can neutralize or reduce very dangerous oxidants in our cells. And these dangerous oxidants account for a number of different problems, particularly in chronic illnesses. We have an excess of these produced in both acute and chronic illnesses. So it's something that we have to maintain control over in terms of maintaining control over our health. And the important thing, as I mentioned, hydrogen does not interfere with the signaling systems within the cell. So there's some very uh, minor oxidants in the cell that are important in signaling and controlling gene regulation and so on. We don't want to interfere with those because that can cause catastrophic.